What's up guys? It's your boy back at it with another video and today we're gonna get into some good stuff WWE 2k20 news right here for your boy um, We do have some good news and uh, It just came out because they said they were gonna have a big announcement about multiplayer on WWE 2k20 which really interests me I haven't read it yet or any of that so i figured i'll read it on the channel for you guys and we'll find out what's going on hopefully it's good stuff uh i guess that's all i could say online lobbies are back in wwe 2k20 multiplayer learn more about online play and updates to Mo my player road to glory and my player towers see this little screen here you got, yeah, see, lobbies and uh, 2K originals and then quick play, which is pretty cool. I mean, I like the little screen, but I'm more, I'm more wanting to know what's going on because, you know, multiplayer is probably what they should be working on anyway. I don't know how y'all feel about it, but I feel like multiplayer is kind of the thing that really sucks in the games. And let's be honest. In, in all games nowadays, it's everybody wants to play them online. If you ain't putting stuff online, then what the heck are you doing? Because, like, that's the best thing about games nowadays is just online multiplayer play. So, see if they say anything about how that's going to go. The highly requested online lobby system is back in WWE 2K20. Lobbies will streamline the process of pairing up players and getting them into a match as quickly as possible. We're also excited to talk about new developments in My Player Road to Glory and My Player Towers. I'm going to be honest, I started a thing last year where I wanted to get to the top level in a WWE series of for the My Player Towers. But I never actually completed it, and I never went through with the with the uh, series because I, I I'm gonna be honest, I didn't really like the towers that much because like oh this time it's submission match oh this time you're just going to start out with a finisher like I don't know that I mean it's cool but it's not it's not like over the top like you can create these matches yourself you know what i mean like i don't know it's just kind of wild to me uh but i i do like towers and i think it's a good thing hopefully they make them better this year um and honestly i hate submission matches so whenever i got a submission matches that was pretty much a l for you boy because i i'm not a big fan of the little like analog stick um thing they got going on there and uh, when you change it to the button mashing, if you're really red, like you can't, you can't get out of it. There's nothing you can do. There's no way to get out of it. So like, I don't know. I think they need to find a better way out for submission mini games. But that's just me, I guess. Uh, create a lobby if you have an exact online multiplayer match in mind. Creating a lobby is the way to go. Select from a wide variety of match types and rules with up to six players. Choose the arena, superstar, gender, and even toggle the restriction to only allow default WWE superstars, aka fair play. You can start out in private mode to invite friends and then open the remaining slots to the general public if you prefer. Uh, once in a lobby together, everyone can voice chat as they select superstars in the lobby creator makes decisions on the match at hand. Players will now have full visibility on how the match is coming together. I like that you can put the uh, thing on superstars only because I hated when I was doing my online series and I kept going against some dude that was 100 overall. Like, dude, that is so annoying when you're picking like... uh. You're picking like Epico and he's like 70 overall. And then you're going against 100 overall uh, The Fiend or something. And then you're like screwed because your 70 something overall superstar is not going to be anywhere near as good as this 100 overall that just does everything. So I think that's cool. Uh, get in quickly if you're less picky about that or 
about what kind of match you want to play, you can browse currently available lobbies that only need one or two more participants and jump right in. Or use the search feature to filter by preference. Even easier, select quick play to be slotted into ready to go matches automatically. Okay. So I guess it shows a little screen here of the lobbies here. So that's something that you can see here. It's like, it looks like match details, looking at NXT and stuff here. That's pretty cool. Um, My Player Evolution, okay. As previously announced, both male and female My Players are part of my career. This extends to Road to Glory and My Player Towers as well. You create both male and female My Players with different styles. One can be a brawler and the other a high flyer. For example, experience pools, progression trees, and creation part unlocks. This consistent pair can level up and unlock items throughout all three of these modes. For the first time ever, any special creation parts you unlock through playing my career, Road to Glory and My Player Towers are also available in the general Create a Superstar mode. On top of that, you can expert export the appearance of your My Player out to the general character creations as well. Dude, you don't understand how great that is. Oh my god, I legit hate having to recreate my whole damn character again to put on the same like it's so annoying dude you gotta go through every little detail again just to make the same character bro like no dude that's not how it should be bro that's so annoying honestly but uh I'm happy we can finally export them, and um, that's going to be dope. And the stuff we unlock is going to be in the general creative superstar mode also, which is pretty cool, because I know they had it just for my player. So what was really the point in getting this jacket from winning uh, WrestleMania if you're just going to only be able to wear it my player? What, like, what's the point in that, honestly? But, um, yeah. Road to Glory and My Player t Tower fans will be familiar with the process of earning stars to enter special pay per view events. These Road to Glory events now include female matches for the first time in addition to male matches. I feel like we pretty much expected that, just as y'all literally just said the uh, female female goes into that too. So, I mean, that's, that's cool though. Look at that WSW Monday Nitro, it looks like. Oh, crap. Uh,. Got some cool stuff going on in here. I honestly can't wait to get the game, man. I'm so sick of playing WWE 2K19. I will let y'all know, though, I won't be bringing something out the first day it comes out, mostly because I don't get mine until the next day because I ordered it on the WWE shop. So it's got to have shipping and stuff, and it'll be here the next day. And the reason why I opened on the WWE shop is to get the extra stuff and everything and uh because it was sold out in my area i think so yeah kind of sucks but i think on that day i might do a wwe 2k19 stream just because it'd be like it'd be like a stream where it's like the last time ever playing wwe 2k19 or something i don't know maybe i'll do that day before the day i don't know we'll figure it out anyway uh so that's a cool screen and everything. Daily refresh match challenges. The new tonight's match feature in multiplayer places you in a new match every day that rotates through match types, rules, genders, and arenas to make it simple to constantly try something new. The Road to Glory featured match of the day is similar to tonight's match, but also includes potential triple threat, fatal four-way, and six-man or woman uh, matches. These will regularly toggle back and forth between male and female matches, so both of your my players will get regular rotation. Tonight's match, Road to Glory feature matches and daily my player tower challenges, single player, will all incorporate elements from the new WWE 2K20 2K Originals post-launch downloadable content, whether you purchase them or not. For example, once the first package WWE 2K20 Originals Bump in the Night releases, you may see matches taking place in the Wyatt Swamp Arena or Cemetery Brawl Arena. Or you might face Frank and Strowman one day in a My Player Tower Daily Challenge. 
you never know what kind of 2K Originals content might show up any given day for all players with online multiplayer access to enjoy. That is dope. And that's like my favorite thing coming in the game is the 2K Originals. Like I legit can't wait to play it. And that's just, hey, that's just the way it is. I, I, dude, I love the 2K Originals. I love the, the arenas, the superstar. Dude, it's so dope. I can't wait to play it. And uh, that's it, it looks like. Um, the only thing that kind of sucks about this whole, like, thing is I feel like they didn't really do what most of us were hoping they would do. Like, when it came to them saying a big announcement, I feel like a lot of us were thinking, online big announcement? What? Like, we were thinking something crazy is about to happen or something at least good was about to happen. And I feel like online, like the actual online, really didn't get anything extra. I feel like when it comes to my player and that, okay, yeah, that's the same thing as last year. But when it came to this time, all they really added to the actual online was really the lobbies. I mean, that's cool and everything. But like if the internet or if the stuff online, like the connection just ain't good, then there is there really a point to play online? Like... When you're trying to play online, the connection is just usually so bad or the timing for pins and stuff is usually so bad that you're not able to kick out of a pin. Like, even if you get in that little box, it, it still don't kick out of the pin and it says you lost. So, like, if that kind of stuff ain't fixed, then the lobbies really don't matter. Anyways... I don't know if I'm going to be doing a Supercard video today. I might actually just upload it tomorrow because we got some interesting stuff here today. But if I do, it'll be later on today. Anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video or found it informative, whatever. If you did, hit that like button for your boy. Subscribe to the channel if you're new because we're on the road to 300 subscribers and I can't wait to get there, baby. Also, I do want to say that this is actually a really good, a uh, real cool update. It's just, I feel, I'm not trying to go down words on it. I'm just saying that I feel like they could have did more with the actual online stuff. That's just me, though. Anyways, hit that notification bell where you always know when I'm live or put up a video because they're always too sweet. Anyways, guys, stay tuned until next time. You already know. Peace out.